Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for all water signs, which would be Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, this is a relationship reading. It is not, it's not meant for every uh, water sign out there. Uh, a little bit about myself. If you are new to my channel, I am what's called a clairsentient. So when I do my readings, I basic, base it off of energy. I find that by the time... Uh, I get, an, I get an energy reading done. Uh, I also use tarot cards, but most people are feeling lighter and uh, not so burdensome. I feel that the messages that I give people really help them see more clearly about the situation, the relationship that they are in. And I really have no personal opinion on anything. It's all what I feel. So if you're involved in a, you know, it's... Uh, Three people in the relationship, I don't judge. I don't judge. People go through what they go through for a reason. And, um, you know, no judgment here about anything. Okay, so I'm using the Lover's Path Tarot. And I will shuffle till the cards fall out. This is how I normally do readings. And what it is, is um, they're called Clarity Cards and Jumpers. See that one fell out? There's card number one, the Ace of Staves. See, there's two here. I'm not going to take those. Cause I just want one card. All right. What are the messages for all water signs? And if you want a personal reading, I'll get back to you. I usually email back within 24 hours and uh, have a reading out to you within 48 hours. I connect to people energetically so I can pick up energies from an email. All right. So there's three cards here. I can read those and what it is the way it works is I uh, if I if you want a reading done on somebody that you're involved with if you give me their first name then what it is is um, I can tell you what they're like if I all of a sudden feel very serious then I know that person is a serious person or um, if you know if they're happy go lucky I feel happy go lucky you know so I pick up their emotions I pick up what they feel it's not mind reading, but it's like uh, emotional feelings. Okay, what are the messages for all water signs? Messages for all water signs. You know, I'm going to take this one here because it did flip over. So I'll take that one. Okay. What are the messages for all water signs? Okay, put those back. Okay, there we go. Message for all water signs. What are the messages for all water signs? And like I said, it's not meant for every water sign out there. Ah. Okay, what are the messages for all water signs for the week of October the 10th? October the 10th and this is just the, the uh, messages for the week it's not necessarily you know end all be all you know and tarot cards are uh, uh, possibilities you know they are um, what's the word that I'm looking for uh, probability you know these two, I'm going to put them back. I just want one at a time. Goodness, there we go. Prince of Staves. That one came flying out. Five of Arrows. The message is for all water signs. All right, this one flipped over. So I'm just going to take this one, even though these three are the other way okay wasting too much time with the shuffling I guess all right so this card here represents it this indicates the relationship all right and it is the ace of staves and the ace of staves represents um, it's the beginning of a focused period of growth inspiration that inspires action new opportunities the masculine or yang aspect of life so 
right now between the two of you in this relationship, this indicates the relationship, there's a period of growth, okay? And action. So you might be able to see some action from both ends, both of you guys willing to work together or work on this relationship, okay? We have another ace here. So this is them, them the person that you're interested in, um, what they're, what is in their mind. Here we have Ace of Coins. It's about new beginnings again. So the Ace of Coins represents uh, the beginning of a new phase filled with good fortune. It's about opportunities, ideas, opposing desires. Sorry. It's about uh, attainment of material goals, contentment in personal life. So you're both working at this. There's the new beginning and the person um, that you are interested in is feeling that there's a new beginning here, a new beginning in this phase of life. Okay. All right. What is going on in your mind is the Prince of Staves. And the Prince of Staves represents... Uh, passion, integrity, action, movement. All right, there is movement going on here. This is, there's also movement in this person's mind. All right, so the Prince of Stays talks about the ability to create change in the world. All right, initiative, new ideas or ventures that must be acted upon immediately. So in your mind, you want to get this thing going quickly. All right, so this is an, another action card. This card here is their emotions, feelings, and emotional concerns. We have transformation. So there's some change going on in their emotions because of this wanting to create in their mind and between you two, okay? And that is number 13. And that represents uh, changes. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so this represents transformations, the need to allow something to die in order to create room for the new, fear of loss from change, creating, <clears throat> creating life out of death. There's a, a wanting to change here. You can see that between the two of you, a good change. And this is about transformation, going from a, like a, a cocoon to a butterfly. All right, so there's a transformation emotionally in this person and their feelings. Okay. In your emotions, feelings, and emotional concerns, we have the five of arrows. And the five of arrows represents struggle. Okay? So emotionally, you're struggle, struggling this, week's, this week. The five of arrows is about lack of trust that leads to conflict, possible defeat, or feelings of defeat. The need for self-protection or caution. Discomfort or struggle with the situation. So emotionally, you're, you're struggling with this right now, perhaps because they are changing and it could be scaring you. But this is a change for the better, okay? <clears throat> okay, so how they represent themselves on the outside, not necessarily what's going on in the inside, is wisdom. And wisdom speaks about Knowledge, education, enlightenment. It's about wisdom gained from education, translating book learning into understanding. A teacher who will share with you what you are seeking, using a, a wisdom to transform a difficult situation for the better. So he, this person on the outside is representing themselves as being the wise one. They perhaps want to teach you something. Okay, and then you... Representing yourself on the outside, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. And the Five of Cups speaks about feeling trapped. All right. Concentrating on problems instead of assets. Not seeing opportunities. Creative blockage or infertility. Okay. So here we have you. You are on the outside representing yourself as being disappointed and sadness. Okay. It could be stemming from this here, this uh, worry that this person is transforming or trans, trans, yeah, transformation, and this is a good transformation, and it's worrying you. Okay, all right. 
So there is the reading for all you water signs out there. And again, if you'd like to get a private reading, please contact me and uh, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. All right. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.